right, man. I got to get a better uh, phone stand, so excuse me for my new phone. But let's talk about who will lead the Pistons in scoring now that Jeremy Grant is long and gone. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of opportunity for uh, new blood to score. Um, naturally, the answer is probably going to be K Cunningham. A lot of people, but um, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see who assert themselves, you know, as a score and what the game plan is drawn up because that's a lot of shot attempts going off the team. And one thing to point out with Jeremy Grant isn't um, on the floor the ball movement is just so beautiful. So, you know, in my opinion, Dwayne Casey should be drawing up. He should be throwing up more plays for Sadiq Bay. In my opinion, uh, especially Sadiq Bay being so terrible on the defensive end, uh, Sadiq Bay really should lead this team in shot attempts and scoring. Kay Cunningham is so good at a young age at, at knowing, kind of like Chauncey Billups learned from like Rick Carlisle and Larry Brown, knowing when to score and kind of like fall back and let the ball move and when to facilitate. And that's Kay Cunningham. Kay Cunningham could be cruising, you know, the first, you know, couple quarters or three quarters, but then he will, he can, he can, he can get hot real quick. He not one of them dudes that if you don't get him in rhythm early in the game, he not gonna get in the rhythm. No, when it's when they need a bucket or they need a spark, you know, he kind of like a star in Benny Johnson. He know how to, he know how to nut up real quick. And I think Sadiq Bey is one of them type of guys who need to be involved early on, who need to be in the rhythm early on, you know, to keep that rhythm going throughout the game. And I think he needs to be gone. I think he needs I, – I think him, he will benefit from Jeremy Grant being gone. I think the team will benefit, benefit with more – uh, uh, fluidity from the offense, more ball movement, more uh, plays being ran, guys cutting with intent because they know they're gonna get the ball. But I think Sadiq Bay is gonna be is gonna benefit the most. And them, them, um, them off the ball, off them, them, them off, you know, them screens they ran, especially in the Orlando game where he run off screen catching and shooting. He, you know, he'd be able to come off the screens attack. You know, a lot of the plays should be called for him early on, the kid going, him hey, and Barbara Bagley going to start, you got to take advantage of him posting too. So I think he might be the black horse in this. Marvin Bagley, if you gonna, if he if he not going to get better significantly defensively, then you got to take advantage of his block game, which is really, really good. His post game is, is, is really good. You know, and his, attempt, his, his uh, ability to get second chance uh, points too, buckets too. So, I really, I, but I really think that Sadiq Bay is probably, you know, you know, with money on the wood, make the game go good. With money on the on the on the wood for him this year, he he really needs to be really assert himself offensively. Because if he don't this year, he don't find a rhythm offensively. Because he more than just a shooter. And with Jeremy Grant on the floor, you add K Cunningham, there was, you know, he was lethargic because he was just a guy sitting in the corner. And he's just not like, you know, a Joe Harris or a Kyle Korver, or a sharpshooter. He is a complete offensive player from passing to posting to creating this shot to getting shots for other people. He is a, he's a complete offensive weapon. And, um, and I think they need to showcase that. More isos for him this year, more post-ups for him. You know, more you know, running the pick and rolls. Maybe him and Cade in the pick and roll. I mean, he needed more than anybody. You know, it ain't gonna be like he averaged twenty five and K averaged you know like eighteen. No, but I think it, it, to me, it got, it, he got he he has to they have to they have to find a way to assert him. You know. They have to find a way to assert him and give him some confidence early on to get in the rhythm. Now, 
Could Ivy come out there and do some good things? Yeah, that's you know, you take Jeremy Grant, you get what Jay and Ivy, you get Jay and Ivy. But a rookie is not gonna be as reckless in this situation as Jeremy Grant was. He's a veteran, he's the veteran team. He's not gonna be as reckless. So that's what well, that's what we can say. He's not gonna be as reckless, but but he's more of a, a combo guard too. So he he gonna be looking to pass, right? He gonna be looking to do a lot a lot of just different things. So, um, but he definitely gets isolation situations, you know, pick and roll situations, uh, uh, situations to really push the pace and get downhill and get his own shot. So I think it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of balance. If you had to ask me, there's gonna there's gonna be some some balance. You know, I think you may see something around on the starting lineup or just team in general. You know, 13, 12-ish, 15, somebody with around 18 and somewhere around 22. I mean, you might see that. I think you might see somewhere like that. Somebody maybe be in the 16 range, 15, 16 range. I think you might see that. You know, I think you're going to get more ball movement, more guys getting their rhythm. I mean, I think that's what you're going to get. You're going to get a lot of guys getting their rhythm. You know, so... But I think Sadiq Bay should be the one that get a lot of plays called his way. His plays to be aggressive and score, get to the line, post up, mismatches, you know, you know, <clears throat> move, you know, walk being able to walk into shots and all that type of stuff. So yeah, I, I think I think I'm gonna go with him. Cause he gotta have a big year. And I think the Jeremy Grant effect that we talked about last year, and I wish this camera set better, but I gotta go to Final Club. I was rushed today. <laughs> So, but yeah, I think I think his aggressiveness is going to be uh, it's going to be key for them next year. Yeah, but I can I can I see K you know being an overwhelming favorite absolutely. But just you know just how you know just how he played the game man. He's a well-rounded player. If he has to be the leading scorer, that will happen. But he's just so well balanced. You know, he loves sharing the ball. He know when to step it up. <laughs> You know, he pretty much played intervals at his own at his own at his own pace. He know when to be aggressive, you know. And one thing about this team, you know, that you know may make uh Bagley or Ivy a real dark horse to lead this team scoring is you know, Dwayne Casey had him push the pace. The Dwayne Casey let them run, run, run. Things can be magical for Jay and Ivy. And and, and and Marvin Bagley uh, you know, trailing. You know he he gonna get he gonna get 12, 14 points just just by you know being active around the rim, putbacks. You know what I'm saying? Lobs. Yes, that's, that's for him in in a in a regular 48 minute game playing around 30 minutes around there. That's a guaranteed 12, 14, and 10 for him if he stay healthy. And I'd love to see him get in that weight room too. That's a given. You know, that's a real given for him. But you know, with them running and he can trail and, and the way he he run the court, it ain't like I said, he ain't the explosive athlete like Durham is. But he's a long strider. His hands is really good. It's you know, hand-eye coordination, getting the ball, um, is really good. Like yeah, I can see him. You know, if he stay healthy, bro, and he physically you know kind of step it up. You know, in the weight room a little bit. Yeah, I mean, he got all the makings to you know be a 2010 guy. You know, per you know 48 minutes. <laughs> Staying healthy, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, you no, know, that's a given. I, I see him working out, but I would like to see him get in the weight room, put on some muscle. He ain't got to be like Kevin Willis, but you know he should call Dwight Howard up and you know see what he did, you know, physically to take it to the next level. You know, he said he don't really. It ain't really it wasn't about lifting heavy for him. He did like a lot of resistance. You know, weights and negatives and positives and stuff, 
And that's kind of physically where he need to be at. That's why he probably gets so injured, you know, because he ain't physically, you know, you know, he playing basketball and it's hard to put muscle on playing basketball. LeBron is an anomaly. So, you know, you got to think about you playing basketball, you constantly playing, burning calories. Um, you constantly burning calories. So, so then again, your diet got stuff. He's a naturally thin guy. So, you know, high, higher protein and a little bit of, you know, and some lifting for him. You know, put on 10 pounds of muscle, it's going to be a battle. But, dude, it'll do him wonders. So, you know, he my dark horse to lead the team in scoring. You know, kind of him and Ivy. But I, I think I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a go with Sadiq Bey. Because, he, you know, and it, 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 you know, for him, <laughs> let's put up a shut up financially. Seeing what Calder Johnson got paid, if he can, you know, really have a big year, man. Ooh, you know? So that's my opinion on it, man. I do appreciate you girls and guys for supporting the channel. Uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, crucial chance, get notifications. We go live and drop the video. Uh, financially, you can support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313, Memo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Memo, PayPal. Um, next to the PayPal, you know. Cash up, all that stuff there. Hit the link tree. Appreciate the love, support. Check out Detroit Piss and Talk playlist for more videos like this. Um, but other than that, man, don't forget to check out my main channel right here on YouTube, Goodfellow TV. I'm doing something I ain't supposed to be doing, but it is what it is. But uh, yep, Goodfellow TV right here on YouTube. Appreciate the love, support. Peace.